Hi everyone, how are we all doing today? If you're new here, my name's Rodian and welcome to the channel. So, we're going to be building the house. Continue building the house. Right, this morning is going to be a little bit of a faff. We need to go up and we need to sort out, call that sun's right in my mince pies. Just get out of the sun a little bit. We have to go up and we have to uh, spend a bit of time on the fascia and soffit of the Dutch gable. So I'll tell you what, let's just jump up then, we'll go for it. Right, so as you can see, we are up on the gable. Now, oh yeah, before we continue, just one thing that a few people were saying, obviously I put some little cuts, I don't know if you can see that, one sec. I put some little cuts down here and you're all saying I should have used tile and half instead of putting those ponce little cuts in. Now, I completely agree, but I've only got two left. There's only two tile and halves left, and I just thought, just to save a bit of, uh, just, I oh know, a few quid, I thought I'd put those tiny little cuts in. Now, it doesn't bother me because, well, A, you're not really gonna see it, and I don't know, I think, I think it did quite a nice little job of it. But I do agree, I could have used tile and halves in there, but like I said, I just don't want to spend too much money on tile and halves. Plus it would have mean I would have had to have gone out and gone and bought some. And I was running a bit late as it was yesterday. So time was of the essence, so I made do with what I had. Anyway, so that's something we'll get back to. So the aim of today is to start with, <clears throat> I would like to show you that you can tell all of these, that's still a bit bright. All of these have been cut off nicely. However, these ends, we're not cut off nicely. There's a massive gap there. I don't know why the chippies did that, but that's what they did. So I'm having to put some little cuts in at either end. And there'll be one in this end as well, down here. But the middles are fine. So that's number one, is I've got to do that. And then as you can see, you might be able to see the pencil mark just here. That is where the brickwork goes from angle to level. And that is where I'm gonna to have to cut that off and have that return back in. So that needs cutting off. And then I have to work out this sort of side to see exactly what's going on because I don't, those tiles, a lot of them are going to be behind the face and soffit, which I don't think is good. But that's something I have to scratch my head about and try and work that out and see what, see what happens. Maybe I could overhang them. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a little look at that and see, see what's going on. I might have to just box that section in on the top and the side, but that doesn't seem like it makes much sense to me because I don't really want to cut this at an angle going down in line with it because I'd have to put some, well I don't mind putting a bit more batten on to have it coming over but then you'd have to have guttering on the other side and I've never seen that before. There's a way of doing this so I'm going to try and tackle that. That is the thing that I'm not too happy about. Trying to, something I haven't really been looking forward to, trying to work out how the hell to do that but that's something that he's doing and then put all the, um, the, the vents and all the trays and whatnot along here. And then there's uh, room for one more batten that goes along here for the eaves tiles, which again, I'm going to need some more of. I've only got about, what's that? I might actually have enough to do this through here, but then I'm going to need some more. So this morning, hopefully just this morning, but maybe today is a lot of faffing around with this. Because the last thing I want to do is cut too much off that end and it looked crap. But well, we shall see how it goes. So let's... Um, the first thing I'm going to do is cut that end off and then now this bit of timber in here, get that right, get that in there. But actually before I do all that, I'm going to put some of these, the old poly tops, the old poly tops, put those all through here because it's all a bit, a bit wobbly at the moment. So we'll start with that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 nails through there. I'll leave this end for the moment. I'm gonna work it out on the front first. I should probably do it on the back because if it messes up, it's on the back and you ain't really gonna see it. But as it's down the side, I don't know. Well, I'll probably start with that end because I've started there. But let's, first off, let's start nailing these poly tops in. Oh yeah!
so as I'm doing this I notice there's a couple of bricks missing for some reason I didn't put those in so I need to cut this little bit of muck out there's one brick under there there's a little slither cut in there and then one full brick on top with a cut on the angle so I'm gonna have to drag the uh, drag the little grinder up here get a couple of bricks clean all that off and put those in first and unfortunately is on the other end as well just two bricks so I don't know why I didn't put those in but they're not in so that's another little bit of faffing around we've got to do so let's get the old trowel out and do a bit of brickwork eh? So I just stopped that just to get this bit of brickwork in and as I've come down here to point it I've noticed the brick was out of level. You probably noticed it in the time lapse but this brick was like up here so I've wedged it down and I've also found out that my jointer it may look like it fits in there but to get any muck in that actual joint there nothing happens and in there I can't I can get it in there that's fine but have you seen where I am? I can't this pole here is right where I want my head to be but I can't do it and this is turning out to be the most awkward bit of brickwork I've ever done in my life I think not only that it's just tight as anything here and I've got to do it all over on the other side so I just wanted to show you how awkward this is it's very very awkward and I don't know this is probably why I didn't do this little corner to start with but Oh well we're in here now so let's try and oh yeah I'm pointing with my fingers I can't the jointer just won't get in there without everything falling off the end so I'm using my fingers I know you're not supposed to but I'm going to anyway <laughs>
that's both of them done. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, that's easily hands down the most awkward bit of brickwork I've ever done. This side, as I showed you with that bit of footage, it was a bit awkward. The other side, down there, there was just no room. I actually couldn't physically see what I was doing. Um, I'll put the GoPro down there and show you what I've done. It looks like I've sort of did that bit of brickwork with a bloody scuba suit on. Couldn't see what I was doing, couldn't move around. But anyway, the faffing bit's done. Uh, I'll give it a little rub over in a minute with a brush. Yeah, that's the thing, the brush won't get in there. So I have to go and find like, like a tiny little brush. I might have to go and nick one of the missus makeup brushes that might do might end up putting a bit of blush on the brickwork but hey might make it look better but yeah so it definitely looks like i built that in wearing a scuba suit those are the two ends done we've got the tray in we've got all the timbers ready everything everything's pretty good to go tomorrow so what we am gonna do tomorrow is i'm gonna do down here i'm gonna set up the last little bit of uh the, the overhanging course get that in get these few cut bits of timbers in cuts up here and just chuck in as much as we can in here might have to go and get some tiny harvest and some eaves tiles at lunchtime, but we're, we're good to go. I want to get every single tile here, all that lot. I want to get that on this roof tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, very good. Okay, I'll leave that there for today. Leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So take care, have a good evening, and I'll see you then. ta -ra.